<laughs> look at look at the two uh look at the two names of the files. Hey. I did quarters, fuck switches. <laughs> this one's ours. <laughs> Why'd you put <laughs> just fuck switches? <laughs> I'm here to fuck switches and make money. Headache headquarters? I don't even know where the hell that is in the game. It's probably roughly the same area. Probably. Okay, I can start. I got it. Do ya? Yep. Did you figure out the problem with the circuit breaker? No. You betcha. Okay, see ya, Mr. Egan. Doesn't even Bye. answer. Cause okay. He's an old crotch. Where are you headed here? This way. To the elevators? Yes. Okay. Oh, good lord, where's the elevator? Just find the library. There it is. It's opposite. Yeah. The elevator door is fancier than the library door. No, it's not. <laughs> it's close. Yeah, I don't know. The inside of that elevator is not great. Ew. Disgusting. To the basement. <sighs> Well, that shouldn't take long. <laughs> this one's not as exciting as number I'm three. I'm doing chores for some old exciting? bat. Exciting? None of them are exciting. The it's first, point, the first know, one was pretty exciting. Also, dropping that chandelier on Lewis was pretty exciting. That's pretty great. Where are you going I, here? You know, I'm not sure. There we go. Yeah, okay. there okay. you go. <laughs> okay. I thought you wanted to talk to Jacques, and then I was like, why are you doing this? Nobody wants to talk to Jacques. There it is right there. That's the reset for the elevator with that. Okay, do you remember it? You can't turn that one. I think this is it. Okay, you go see if it's on. And pray, pray. One turn too far. Oh. Turn your no, turn around. There you go. No, no. <laughs> Forward. But I need skis. No one needs skis. You don't ski in this entire game. It's fucking retarded. That'd be pretty damn exciting. You come there for a vacation and you don't get shit. Uh, it's off, isn't it? I don't it? know. Go check. Uh, nope. You got, oh! it. you got it. So now you can use the stairs to get to different floors as well. Terrific. And go talk to that bald piece of shit and tell him you fixed it. I can't believe I remembered it. <laughs> you missed the room again. Ugh. <laughs> Where am I going? <laughs> Navigation problems. This game's the worst for them. Everything looks the same. Yeah, it's pretty rough. Is that piece still? No, I think it's like 10 at night. She fled. Fled the scene? No, oh, it's like 7. 7. She's, out She's got no else. excuse. Oh, oh my He's god. Now what? You can go check his desk. You might as well while he's not here. Snoop. You can grab the library key and yeah, look around a little bit. Keep forward again. Keep going forward. Wow, she really turned around that desk, didn't she? Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, what a mess. His notebook. His steno notebook. You can his steno you can notebook. This is to-do list. This isn't my. This is my. Yeah, to -do this list. is pretty much your to-do list. Wow, but notice, like the keep searching thing. You don't know what he's searching for. He did it in all caps? Yeah. So it's important, but we don't know why. Just sketchy stuff like he's hide, got like a hide coffee the body. stain on it. <laughs> Dinner orders. Buy more hair growth formula. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty cool, hey? Oh, yeah, you can turn on that if you want. Oh, that thing. I thought you were talking about the fan. <laughs> <laughs> that There's not a whole lot on his desk to look at. Where's the key that you're uh, I think it's in one of the drawers there. There we go. Because it was expensive? Because it cost like 200 bucks. That one was only 60 because I got it for a deal, but... Yeah, and what game would I even use that for? It's for fighting games. Uh, it's not. I for, wouldn't use it for Mario Kart. Yeah, it wouldn't work with anything else. It only is for fighting games. It makes them easier to play. I want a candy. Won't let me have a candy. 
He can't take his mints? Damn no, it. I can't. Of course not. I want to rob the guy blind, but it won't let me. Comes to your room at like 3 a.m. You know, I noticed my mints were gone. <laughs> Go into the desk, like his wallet's in there, and just steal it. Okay, him. so there's really not much you can do tonight, so you might as well just set your alarm for tomorrow morning. And can't I explore the library? Fine. You don't know the code, and there's an alarm for it, so if you try and get in, then you're just going to set it off and get caught and lose. So, yeah. Well, that seems ridiculous. Oh, is my room back here? Uh, it's room two. F what? What is your room? Two o five is your room. Not really sure what my. So room follow is. the signs. It's two o five. I thought it was two fourteen. No, that's Hodgkiss's room. It's not this way. It's on the other side of the hotel. That's a dead end. Nuts. Keep going forward. Turn here, and that should be yeah. Oh. That way. Oh, I see. I believe it's that one down there. So small. So small. You gotta use your car to get in there. That's your letter. It's locked. <laughs> Try to shove your letter in the slot. <laughs> Just shove whatever That's I have on That's your menu. Me. There is No, the one with the black strip. There you go. Just shove a pen in there. Paintbrush. Yeah, the boiler's still going. I don't like know. Like, who, who can no sleep? No one would get me sleep with Listen that. to this. It sounds like somebody's forging iron in the corner. Yeah, that bubbling. Why doesn't that old piece of crap come fix my <laughs> thing? Because he's too busy. This works exactly the same. Too busy being a screen. jerk off. Set it for like 9 or 10 a.m. Ah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I know, this is thrilling, but you're gonna have to keep it. <laughs> this one, the problem is, like, all the chores happen early in the game, at least. She doesn't say morning, Nancy, in this one. Nope. <laughs> that was just creepy. <laughs> Good morning, Nancy. The old guy's just yeah, standing above guy. you. Yeah, Got more work for you to do today. <laughs> Have you finished out this? I'm thinking that's another dead breaker. end. Probably. This guy wasn't eccentric. He was just a loser. He just spent an extra thousands of dollars to make hallways that led to nowhere. I don't know. He enjoyed but yeah, like at least all the chores happen at the beginning of this game instead of right in the middle, like fucking number ten, my most hated game in the series. What do you mean, yes? The yes. radiator. I don't want to pester you, <laughs> but uh. I had to yeah. sleep with that thing on all night, and it really pissed me off. It doesn't. Thanks sound. for dealing with the circuit breaker. Okay, we're really <laughs> I was like, way to skip here, around that one. So, you go up to Hotchkiss's room and see what she wants for dinner. She's not answering her phone. Like the radiator guy. Why do we need to know what she wants for dinner when it's like 9 in the morning? Here's an idea. Just don't feed her unless she asks no you to be fed. Boss. Yeah, can't she call herself? She has like a freaking phone in there. Too busy. Can I go around the desk no, when he's back there? He's there? Oh, that'd be terrific. He's like, what are you doing? He's probably animatronic. Doesn't have legs. <laughs> yeah. Just strapped to the desk. Have you finished dealing with that circuit breaker? That's all he says. So head to 214. That's her room. Navigating's not that hard. It's just... Figuring out where everything is. I think is. you can just keep going forward. I think that's her room right there. Yeah. Be peach, you can pull radishes out of the ground. I am being peach and I can pull radishes out of the ground. Good. Ugh, Virginia Whoa. Wolf never endured such interruptions. Who is it? Who's that ugly old cow? It's some really creepy it's bitch who never again. comes out of her room Dexter the entire game. Dexter needs to know what you want for dinner. So hard to think of food candy when I'm riding the raging rapids of my theory. Oh, right now I have plenty of. The sad thing is, she's in more than one game. Is she? But is yeah. she just as insane in the other games? Yeah, one? well, she's not like an actual character in the other games. But in several yes, of the couscous later couscous games, you either have to read a book by her, and one of them nice you actually have to call her for time, information Daddy. on a certain thing. You have to read about her theory. So. She what wants she? couscous, she said. Couscous? She has got a hangering for couscous. So Good. go tell Dexter that. Don't we all? You gotta go up. I yeah. like couscous. What is it? It's, it's like, like the, the little ball stuff. things. Yeah, rice. it's like it's like rice, but little balls of rice. It's like lots of little testicles. Okay. <laughs> Appetizing. I'm, make, I, I'm making the uh, sound thing fun. Okay. The commentary? Yeah. Like, what's couscous? What's what is yeah. it, couscous? Yes. I just knew what it was. The professor says she has a hankering for um, couscous. 
Couscous. <laughs> He's like, the it. fuck is that? Order something off the menu. Well, why don't you just go ask her what she wants? Okay. How about that? See ya, Mr. Egan. Her, her next order is even better. Just wait until you see what she orders next. Why doesn't he do something with his life? He's trying to. You'll learn that he had kind of a tortured past, but I uh, won't reveal too well, much. Well, how come he won't go upstairs and ask people what they want for supper himself? I don't know. Because of his tortured past. I guess. Duh. You'd rather this 10 year old girl. It's not really a tortured instead. past, it was just him being an asshole. Is that my couscous already? Yeah, I made it and I brought it to you. I'm gonna throw it in your face. It's been like 10 minutes. Why is she having supper so early? Sorry, Professor. I know, yeah, it's 9 in the morning. It, it makes is. no sense why it's there. It is roughly 9 in the, the morning. I don't know any hotel that operates this menu. way. At least not from this hotel. Oh my god. Oh, be a doll and fetch me one. Well, you already got one, so it doesn't make any sense. You can knock on the door and tell you got one again. You gotta knock. And did you get the menu? Sure did. How about opening the door so I can give it yeah. to you? Oh, you're a sneaky one. Just slip it under the door, please. Oh, you please. have to be uh, a different nice character. Nice and easy. We'll just go a different no way. No funny stuff. So you gotta slip it under the door. Luigi can jump higher. Slip that dirty uh, man under there. Who? <laughs> <be> back <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> she was just like, I'm not fucking hungry. Leave me alone. <laughs> Read through the whole meat section. Well, listen to what she orders. Usually, much of a meat eater, but uh, very well. Fifty drumsticks, please. Chicken, <laughs> that is. Yep. Clutch. She is a happy lady. She isn't though. That's Fifty she. drumsticks. She's gonna use it to write her theory. Sure. Like, what does she? What does she have? Whatever makes you happy. What's the point of Rock fifty roll, drumsticks? Dear. Rock and roll, dear. She probably just keeps them stashed around the room and like eats them when she doesn't. She throws them out the window and like watches like the wolves. Like fifty drumsticks. If anyone ever ate that in real life, they'd feel like shit. If well, they could depends. even do it, that's like an eating challenge. I guess it would depend on how big the drumsticks are. But man versus food. I wonder how much that would cost. Fifty drumsticks. She gets a bill for like three hundred dollars. Isn't just like for a nine-piece meal from KFC like eight bucks? Can I help you? <laughs> I don't know. It'd be it'd be the overly expensive. Has her order. Seems she's developed an appetite for God, his drumsticks. unblinking stare is unnerving. <laughs> so vacant. Okay then, drumsticks we got. He looks Oops. So cool. But I guess Jock better take that bag of chicken legs out of the freezer. Yeah. Uh, Will you tell frozen him? Frozen foods. And then take the rest of the day off, kid. Your radiator's well, thank as good as So there you go. You got one more thing to do, and then we can okay. finally get to the okay, actual Mr. fucking Egan. mystery Goodbye. instead of doing chores. For I get this the guy. rest of the day off on my vacation. You can go talk to Lisa if you How want. nice I of I think she might be in there. Or she could be sleeping in like any normal person would on a vacation, but I don't think so. Nope. Of course not. Like, she just hangs out here. Never mind. She has nothing to I'll say. I'll let you get back to your magazine. Later, Nancy. No. She's like the most suspicious person ever. We should probably question. I don't know her what more. she's doing here. She's she hasn't said what she's investigating or anything. All we've found on her is a bunch of like fake identities. Like, yeah. It's a little suspicious. I should have just kept going straight. The stairs are so much quicker than taking the elevator over and over again, guys. Where's the stairs? The other way. What do you mean? Keep going down that big hallway. This one? Turn no no turn around. The big long hallway that leads back to the, where everyone is. That one. Nope. Well, you're at the elevator now. There's the elevator, elevator, yeah. Next time. Next, next time, time we'll use the stairs. Next time I'll show you where the stairs are. Because it's really faster to navigate using the stairs where you don't it's have to locked. constantly call the elevator to every floor. But it's locked. <laughs> Did the game freeze or am I just waiting for the elevator? You're waiting for the elevator to show up. Fantastic. Immersion. B. Yeah, he's alarm. It doesn't work. Of course it doesn't. Dexter wouldn't do anything. Who's gonna fix it? Anyway. Yeah. He'd be like, "Wow, no, I don't think so." You can sit in there and stew until I'm done with everything else. <laughs> I would, but I don't have any guests that can do that right now, so I'm just, <laughs> I'm just gonna stay here. Go talk to Jacques Brunet. Go forward once and then turn. Go talk to him and his his well styled beard. Ah oh, Nancy, come on, Sava. Ah Nancy, ha ha. Come on, Sava. Like I, I I told Mike earlier, I can't tell if that's like someone actually French or someone just imitating. 
I think it's some just point. Just well, look, because some possible. some points it sounds really bad, and then Maybe other points it's like passable. So I don't know. It's better than what's oh. Rick Arlen's what French, happened? I guess. So, it was the worst day of my life. Too far flat on my face with my family, my country. See, this sounds really bad. The rest of the world watching. But, eh. <laughs> so he blew it as a skier. He just sucks. Good. I like how he just told you the sad story, and instead of like offering any sympathy, you're like, yeah, you need to take out the bag of chicken legs. <laughs> That's really sad. Hey, listen, I need you to take that, that chicken, that chicken out of the fridge. It's probably just stashed outside this snowbank somewhere. Yeah. Go, go to that chicken. You need to make him hit that chicken. It's probably just stashed outside in a snowbank somewhere. What am I looking for? A bag of chicken? No, he just defrosts it. Now you oh. can actually get to the freaking mystery. To the library? You can't get into the library yet. The alarm will go off. I know where the stairs are here. Um, I think it might be a good idea to call your friends. Where's the phone? In your room. In my room? Yeah. Just ride these all the way to the top. Hold on, give it some time. No, no time. There you go. That's how games crash. We don't want that. Oh, I would love that. Keep going forward. You sure? My yeah. room's over there. I think so. No. I have a radish. Yeah, okay, sure. Why would they make my room this far away from the door? Radish. Unacceptable. Radish? Now you're at Hodge Kisses. You whipping radishes? Yeah. Damn it. Now you're at Hodge Kisses. Turn around, go forward. Keep going. Keep going. Turn. No, no. Turn around. This way. My god, I went. Yeah. No, that way. I think we could have just kept going we forward. We could have just kept going forward. 205. It's locked. I grabbed the key. Let's have good old conversations with our friends. Where's George Fane? She's in this game, I think. I think Ned makes Wait, his triumphant return to. Is this my food? What food? A no, gigantic piece a, of licorice? Like a, Looks like a candle or the storage thing or something. And the radiator's fixed. You might want to check the radiator. There's something there that you can take. He, got, he left us a nice oil can just in the room. Terrific. How did he know? How did he know we would need it? Alright, so just call it. Operator O. Oh. <laughs> Connect me to George Fane. Your number was just right like there. some random individual. Her number was right there. Front desk. Dexter here. Oh god, no. Maybe you can help me, Mr. Egan. I'm trying to get more information. <laughs> Why don't you just go downstairs and talk to him? Look, I'm up to my ears down here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> He's like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> so don't call the operator. It doesn't get you anywhere. I thought that would be an actual operator, not that piece no, of crap. No, it's just like room service, the front desk number. Is that what he does in his spare time? He's just an operator? <laughs> I guess. That's why he's always busy. <laughs> Picks up the phone, jeez. Weren't you just here? Why didn't you ask me? I'll get someone else to connect you in just a moment. Hi, you've reached Ned at Omega Chi Epsilon. I'm not here to take your call right now, so please try again later. Is that a Greek food place or a frat? I don't know. We can talk to George Fane. Oh, we got taquitos at the golf course. Do we? I just pulled a bomb out of the ground. We're making a Friday platter. It's got like battered mushrooms, taquitos, Ooh. fries, chicken fingers. Friday chicken platters. fingers. Yeah, there's a special. Hello? Uh, George, it's Nancy. Fingers? Great no. timing, Nancy. Bess and I were just saying. Yeah, oh, I mean, Bess is here too. Those, 28 bucks. Bess is here too. They're having one the of their phone. sleepovers. God, hey, do they Bess, just live together? detectives on the phone. Hey, Nancy. How's the vacation? Fucking terrible. The va vacation. I've done nothing but chores the entire time. Yeah, why don't you uh, just connect to the operator? He'll let you know how it was. You maybe should have mailed that letter. I guess I should have mailed that what letter. letter. That letter? Not only yeah. do I have oh. a blizzard on it really has no bearing on the case whatsoever. You can mail it or you can hold on to it. It doesn't matter. Why didn't you see the mailbox? The you have to give it to Dexter. Room was he wants no part of it. Boy, oh boy! Have you searched the library for clues yet? Well, well no, that would the be thing. the common sense Dexter thing to do. Dexter Egan, the caretaker says it's locked up and off limits until the police can get here. Yep. But who knows when that'll be. That's funny, Nancy. I didn't know the phrase <laughs> That's off funny. limits was even in your vocabulary. Seriously, though. Don't you think that your oh. dad's friend, Seriously, Christy no. Lane, <laughs> yeah. would feel better knowing that oh, you're on the case? MJ. At least until the police can take over? She's right, Nancy. 
I mean, who knows what this Egan guy is all about anyway? We don't Sounds know. Sounds like you're just going to have to find an alternative entrance to that library. It's worse than you're that. We know again. what he is, and he's just a piece of crap. Just hope I don't have to slide down the chimney. <sighs> what are you, Santa? And what about this robbery? <laughs> who got robbed? <laughs> I'm not it's sure. It's just a moment the of thought there. Moment of so silence conscious. and thought. I think she's so a what about this? You bit. mean weird? Netzo? A few sandwiches short of a picnic? Okay, Ugh. you guys. I just mean that I'm not She's sure how she's batshit insane. <laughs> this just sounds like three She'll probably tell you something important, whether she means to or not. Uh, probably shouldn't use real names in these things. Cut it. Edit yeah, I'm not going to cut it right when it's in the middle of everything. Edit it out. I met my skin That's not a real person. <laughs> sure. Sure is French. Just just like just, just in case the wrong not, person happens to see this thing, you might want to rephrase from using actual names. Whatever. Now there's a real crime. Right, Bess. Humanity is devastated. Bess is upset that he's engaged. Jacques Brunet. Oh. I met this nice woman, Lisa Austin. This conversation's going nowhere. <laughs> What's her deal? She's a photojournalist doing a story on Jump the castle. Jump on an egg. She sure got me curious about that tower. Oh yeah? Does Ooh, she know where the entrance is? I don't think so. Well, keep an eye on her, Nancy. Those photojournalists are born snoopers, you know. George, are you suggesting that Nancy is a second-class snooper? That was my You're dad, going if to give our friend a <laughs> Oh, right. Like, Nancy doesn't know she's the Prime Minister of You gotta snooping. jump on an egg. I'm trying to jump on the egg. We're playing Mario in the background, by the way. Super Mario Bros. Really 2 is being played. Yes. To find out what was stolen from her room. Yes, but she does. won't open her door to discuss it. That's odd. I wonder what she's so nervous yeah, about. I'll right bet she's hiding something in her room. Okay. Like what, mm -hmm. Bess? The elephant that trampled the library? Yes. She's probably just a little freaked. You're the power I mean, if her room really was robbed, if it did. Yeah. you'll find a way to make her trust you, Nancy. This is on bad I'll bet Bess's last so slice of pizza okay. on it. Hey! Ugh, yeah. oh, Bess! You, hey. don't, you don't talk about stealing food when Bess is around. That's because you, like, shook it. To, yeah, you, like, strangled it. Okay, so you can ask for a hint. You want. No, I need brain juice. Okay, whatever. Ladies, I need inspiration. Ladies, brain ladies. <laughs> they don't wow. call us your trusty sidekicks for nothing. They don't call you nothing. Call you <laughs> I, I read. I read. Help! I'm a little drunk. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. You want our advice on that? <laughs> Just broke into the mini bar. <laughs> So they're telling you to get your ass to the library, but use an alternate okay, route other than the front door. The chimney. Bye. They're Bye. not the chimney. the chimney, no. You can, there's no chimney. I want to phone Ned. But where do you think you can get into the library? Probably through some secret entrance. No. No? You were already technically in the area that you could get into the it The door. By. OMG, it's the door. It's, it's not no, the door. it's the front door. <laughs> Remember when you got stuck in the elevator? Oh. You can use the vent system to get in. Now, how do I get there again? It's kind of complicated. Um, Is this it? No, that's a dead end. Open it up. Yet another dead <laughs> end. I just decorate it with a door. What you need to do is... um, You gotta ride the elevator down to, I think, floor one. Get in the elevator and take it down to floor one. Elevator floor one. Yeah, and if it's already at floor one, then just get in it. I can do that. I'm capable of getting in it. This is kind of confusing to figure out, but now that you know that you can climb outside the elevator, you can do it when it's on a floor and not stuck. But That's do I? Way. Do I? That's wrong. Do I need to do it from this floor, or do I need to do it? From I can't the basement? remember. I can't remember if it's basement floor one or floor two. We're just gonna have to do trial and error. You need Last remember, time we did trial and error, I completely... Yeah, remember you couldn't reach the ladder? You need to get it so that you can. It's locked. Okay. So call it, and if you can't get to it from here, then we'll go up to floor two. Terrific. Yeah, I don't remember how to beat Birdo. I think you have to jump on the eggs and then, like, throw the eggs at it. Perfect. Is that possible? Okay. Okay, no, don't don't go anywhere. Tur just turn around and look up. Turn around and look up. And then you can enter into the vents. The safest elevator ever designed. 
I'd like to know what's spelled there to make that stain. It makes me uneasy. Uh, it's just water damage. Can you get to the the ladder from there? Or is, is that it? the ladder? Yeah. doesn't look like it. I think I'm you got to go up to the floor, too. No, it doesn't look like you can. What do you mean? Wh wh which vent? Oh. That one up there. Right, so, right. you're gonna looks like you're going to have to go to floor, too. Okay. Just open her up and climb back in there. So, don't even leave the elevator. Just go up to floor, too, and then turn the ice around. It's magic. There you go. Now you can get to I it. I can't fit in there. Go to the ladder first. Oh, no. You know what you got to do? You got to take it down to the basement and climb the ladder all the way up. That's what you need to do. You need to take it down to the ground floor. Why? It's right there. Because she can't make the jump. I can see it. No. Look. So, yeah. Look how far of a jump it I is. I know. You'd have to You have to go all the way down to the basement. She doesn't even have to jump. She can just reach. She can't. She'd plummet like 50 feet to her death. So? It's not a bad thing. Let's take her to the basement. She's a little drunk, remember? Yeah. She'd be willing to try anything in her current state. Exactly. Help, I'm a little drunk. Okay, there you go. Now you can totally get to it. Whoa, you kind of overshot it there. It's the ceiling. Climb her back down. There we go. <laughs> just no questions asked. Just, just hops right banging around, in, around in the vents. I don't know. You can check in there. I don't think... Can you get in there? Doesn't look doesn't like look it. Doesn't look like it, no. Law! Oh. And climb down. Well, this doesn't make a lot of sense. Do I have to go through all these shelves? You don't, no. Oh, thank God. This library is a lot better than the one in Secrets Can Kill. Try going down the stairs. Oh, shit. Someone's trying to get in. You might want to get back into the vents. Who cares? It's locked. No, it's Dexter. You might want to turn around and pretty damn quick. Climb back in there. The giant leg. Okay, okay, I hear you. My god, he has legs and he actually <laughs> does work. <laughs> Sorry, you crazy old man. I don't know what his purpose was of coming in here. He looks for like three seconds and then just fucks off. It's like good search. Good search there, Dexter. Did you lose something three days ago? Apparently. Is he talking to himself? Yeah. Completely to himself. God, is he insane. So yeah, he looks for like three seconds and he's like, wow, this looks <laughs> terrible. Well, it's not in plain sight. Time to leave. I don't have time to clean this up. It's like bullshit. Okay. So, uh, before you do anything, you should go down there and... Look where he was locked. Look where the... First look at uh, the keypad lock. So you can use the front door instead of using the vent the entire time. Would be nice. So go up to the keypad. And do that dusting thing? Yeah, but you don't got don't dust, dust on it. You don't got dust on it yet. You can find it somewhere in the library. I wouldn't enter a code in it. Just you told me to walk up to it. Yeah, I know. Okay, turn to the left. No, not that. I need to look at this ship. Sure. I think you can open the drawer. An impressive specimen. It turned red there for a second. Where? I think over here, isn't it? Oh, okay, never mind. That ship, beautiful. That beautiful ship. Beautiful. It's turned ship. on its side. Oh, you can look at that thing. Oh, thank God, the, the diary of Axel von Fersen. Yes, the most Norwegian person of all time. I don't think you actually need Swedish. To read Damn this. it! I was th I was thinking He's Norwegian. Swedish. He was a friend of Queen Marie Antoinette. I think that's all that's important. Thanks to this fine scholarship. Oh god. Leaf, We're getting into some dangerous here. territory here. Leaf through it. Some dangerous territory of actually reading. I'm just gonna let you explore the library by yourself. No, no. I think you can, oh, god, think you can no. get through it. Just do it in like a circular manner. Like everything else. It's my least favorite type of manner. There's the hole someone put in the wall. Where? There? No. Keep moving. It was probably <laughs> that old man. He just uh, slammed his head into desk. it. Check that desk. Just punch the wall in frustration. Yeah, clawed. Go look at the desk. Then, uh, an atlas of the United States, Wisconsin. It just shows you where you are. Uh, you should take note, though, of the latitude and the longitude. Okay. I'll even write it down for you. What the hell? 
Butter Ridge is barely even in Wisconsin. Uh huh. Look where it is. Hey, Green Bay. The Green Bay Packers. It's barely even there. There's the best team in the NFL. What's that up there? Is that, uh. I have no idea. Great I, Lakes. I know nothing about the states. Illinois? Geometry. No, that might be Michigan. No. Oh, yeah. Hold on here. Latitude is what? 45 north? Yeah. Their motto is forward. Good. Just, that's it. Forward. And the longitude is 90 west. It's not a good way to live life. It is. Someone messed up the quote on their freaking grad thing. I was pissed. That was yours, wasn't it? No. Blended? No, like, I mean, the ones that my sister's doing right now. Sure is, Someone sent in a quote. They were like, uh, the definition of stupid is doing the same thing sure over and over again and expecting a different result. Sure uh, that's insane. Yeah, no, it's yeah. insanity. I was sure like, what the dusty. fuck is this guy thinking? Sure uh, you can use a paintbrush. Just click right on the dust to get dust on your paintbrush. I guess that's kind of stupid, there. too. No, there's dust it's... on the paintbrush. So now you can try oh. dusting. How stupid in an inspirational quote for your graduate? Stupid. I don't know. It, it doesn't have to be a good quote. It's just their favorite quote. Or a quote they or definition. in five seconds. Yeah. yeah. So try dusting. <laughs> Somebody should just have some random like definition in the dictionary. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> not gonna do anything <laughs> just get all freaked out just run <laughs> just book it out of the library book it okay so it's a four digit code and remember what i told you about fingerprints three star seven two yes that is right you already had it written down i did god damn it test you can't test it you might have just got yourself caught Oh no, that was you trying to punch in it backwards. Just leave it alone. Da ching! Hear that? It's money. You think Dexter would know it is something, but no, he's too busy. Dexter's like, oh, I'm too busy for so that. So keep your keep going, keep exploring. Now Breaking you can look at that entering, picture, I'm I believe, busy. of Marie Antoinette. That right one? Right in there, yeah. Who's like Marie Antoinette? No. Ooh. Ooh, hello. She looks so unattractive. I'm sorry, but it's gross. Looks like Egan. It's like everyone in like 13th century paintings. It's like, ah. Uh... You know, that'd be considered a Was new she photo like a really then. young queen or not? Who? Marie Antoinette. Do you have any idea? No. Didn't no? she just marry a Louis? Yeah, that, she married, like, She got beheaded in the French me. Revolution. That's about my knowledge of. Because you're from. Because you're British. You would know more about it than I would. I thought that maybe you guys had taken school or something. Yeah, we did. You just don't remember? No. We learned a lot of stuff about kings and stuff. Yeah. And stuff. And stuff. I would like that. We had to learn a poem about Henry VIII to, uh, like, eight wives. And how he murdered them. Marcel uh, Boner. Marcel Boner. Yep. <laughs> Does it say anything about her age in here? Okay. It, says, it talks about Boner's career. One of the great portraits that we have right next to us. <laughs> by Marcel Boner during his time. It's Bonet, not Boner. That is Boner. It's Bonet. Yeah, it could be. During his career, none has fielded more controversy and gossip than this portrait of Marie Antoinette, which was completed only months before the revolution broke out. It all began when King Louis the Sixteenth, I think that is, right? Mm -hmm. Marie's husband commissioned an, opul an opulent jeweled tiara for her birthday. Set in the tiara were a ruby, an emerald, a sapphire, and a 52-carat diamond, bigger than any diamond ever before worn by French royalty. Marie was horrified by the tiara's extravagance and refused to wear it. It is even rumored that she referred to it as my crown of, of ruination. Though no one knew what she meant by this, came to have her portrait painted, she refused to wear it, where she often visited. What a loser. <laughs> Even after Further her execution, refused she painted. refused to wear it. Yeah. Really? Her name is Furious. Really would not <laughs> budge. A that is a shame. With a purple rose instead. Not just a flower, but a symbol of her willful defiance of her husband's wishes. Okay. Damn it, I'm here to ski. So not to that, that has something to do with this case. Somebody got really pissed off playing you chess. Might wanna, you might want to take note of that. What? The, the flower? No. The Chiara. Oh, okay. There's something to do with it. Anything here? Secret passage, maybe? 
Possibly. A sly rabbit will have three openings to its den. So you can, you can click on it. You can click on it. To open it up. You don't know the code for this yet, but it's somewhere in the library. So, I should probably do it. Is this an old compass? I have no idea what that is. Looks like one of those, uh, protractor things. Mm. That's the reset key, I believe. How do I close this thing? Ow. Uh, try backing away on one of the corners. There, there we go. It snaps back into place. Silly rabbit. Okay, so that's all you can look at there, but there's other stuff here. I don't see anything else of interest. Shipping a bottle, that's pretty interesting, isn't it? Yeah. You can look at the glow yeah. too, and the smashed flower. I believe that book you can look at too in the corner there. The other one. There you go. Drew my eye. Purple Hearted Queen by Hotchkiss! Dear God. Wait, as a code. Uh, this really means absolutely nothing to you purple. at this point. So you Dignity, can truth, close purple. It out. Wisdom, loyalty, purple. So Professor Hodgkiss wrote a book. Terrific. You can check the globe. Check her out. Where's... Those books. Uh, I can't see it. There you go. So remember, it said 90 degrees. You can try clicking the top there. There you go. What said 90 degrees? That Wisconsin is 90 degrees west. Okay, oh. so that code looks like it may have something to do with that contraption. Negative 15, 10, negative 5. This library is needlessly complicated. Yes, it's a weird library. Where am I going? To that thing above the fireplace. Yeah, I know, but I just passed right by it. Anyone want some chips? I might have some in a second here. Uh, I wish I could put you in a Me? Mike, personally? Is this, uh, how do I, how do I click, like, Nancy Grace? <laughs> Nancy True. Nancy, oh. nice, Nancy Grace would be nice to shoot in the face, too. But. <laughs> Alright, so I'll reset it, and it's... Oh, the green one's the one that you mm -hmm. picked? Okay. I thought that was reset. I thought they had the same name. 10, negative 5? Yeah. And then this gives me the code to get in the library. Nope. Oh, it sounds like my radiator. <laughs> <laughs> so, now you gotta check what that opened. Remember how there was a wall at the top of the stairs? A wall? Yeah. There's a wall everywhere. No, I mean, go up to the second floor there. Use the really tiny winding staircase. <laughs> Makes me feel. Now that there's. This I never door, looked over here. But there was not a door here. Oh. You might want to light a candle. It's pretty dark in here. Light the candle. Turn around. No. <laughs> Turn around again. Who's that guy on the PGA tour that keeps yelling, "Light the candle and mashed potatoes"? No Go forward. Click on this thing. Further it. Go forward. There should be a candle on the table that you can light. Oh, there's a lighter. There you go. And the candle's right there. <laughs> light the oil. <laughs> Where's the candle? I believe right in front of your face. Ah, I see. There you go. <laughs> I believe right in front of your face. So this is Ezra Wickford's little... Whoa. The so thing you melted melted quick. down, you got a key. This is Ezra Ezra Wickford's little hidey hole. Kind Just of where thing. he invented chocolate milk. Could have been, <laughs> but this is like where he like hung out all the time. People say he locked himself in the castle for like fifty years. This is why he's hanging out here. In so this, there's a in lot. This one room of the castle. Well, probably the whole castle itself. But there's a lot of papers to look at. Do I have to read this? Um, it's just his memoirs, basically, or his thoughts. His poetry. The castle has been empty for many years now. These hallways just echo in vain. I know how I miss you, my one-time son. My angers, my angers dissolved into pain. This is totally poetry. I still don't know why you pilfered my wallet. The money could hardly have mattered. That fifty dollars I'd have given you twice, but instead, my poor heart, you shattered. If only I could find you, we'd patch it all up. 
talk through it as dad and son should. Perhaps you meant only to test my love. Perhaps you left misunderstood. I want you to know that your old man forgives you. Old bygones are bygone with me. So I've left you one keepsake to remember me by. You'll soon be, you sure be delighted to see. Go out to the garden, my old thinking spot, my refuge in hours of dread. Your luck charm is stashed where no stranger would look in the back of my old troubled head. So this is goodbye, dear Dexter. Farewell. You offered me much needed joy. And I'll never forget all the laughter you brought me. I guess. Rascal. My dear, my darling young son. Or I'm going like to stop that. because I don't want to think of De Dexter as a rascal. <laughs> so Dexter was Ezra Wickford's adoptive son. Oh, and really? he pissed him off, apparently. They didn't get along well. And he stole his money and ran away. Yeah. So uh, you can like turn around. Move. Or can I? I don't think you, I think that's all you can get from the desks. Turn around there. Nice, thank you. Uh, you can look at every video needs some share. You can look at the thing. When he was good, he was very good. These are scrapbooks of Dexter's life growing up. The young buckaroos. So he was like he was like just this really smart guy who was really good at spelling bees and stuff. And Great speller. Yeah. And now he gets other people to fix his... His stuff for him. His circuit breakers. So yeah, best <laughs> attendance award, all this lovely stuff. At least there's no Photoshop photos. First vehicle. How old is this guy? These pictures look like they were taken in like 1930. Yeah. He so he would be like 70. Old. I guess it kind of would work, but he doesn't look that old. First Can you vehicle. turn the page again or is that it? Oh, that's just a certificate of merit. I think that's it. Just crumple it up. What does it say? 1944? Uh, 1940 something. 43. 42. Okay, so. 44. He'd be around 70 then, I guess. Close it up. And then you can check the other one, too. When he was bad, he was horrid. <laughs> <laughs> so this is when he turned into an asshole later Who would in keep life. This? I'm so I'm sorry for taking fifty dollars out of your wallet without asking. I know it was wrong. I know you were very disappointed in me. I was. I'm sorry. I'll never do it again. I'm sorry. Your son Dexter, and then my son the Vandal. I think you you can click on it to read more about it. Just him being an asshole. We're sorry to report that your son was caught on th school grounds last night throwing rocks at the gymnasium windows. This is the second time he has been caught attempting to destroy school property. We fear Dexter is becoming a danger to himself and others. We have no choice to expel him. Jesus, that's fucking A danger harsh. to himself? He was throwing rocks at windows. You can get expelled for that shit? Apparently. In 1930, I would I imagine he could. Milwaukee Bank passing. He, he's a, he, tried he tried to pass to... fraudulent checks. God. Ezra Wickford cannot be reached for comment, nor has anyone come forward to post bail for Mr. Egan. Isn't his dad rich? Why does he need to mm -hmm. pass fake checks? It's your dad's it's the guy who invented chocolate milk. That would make you pretty rich. And this is when he was 18 of Butter Ridge. At 18, the kid's already like a pro. He's a pro. <laughs> There's this boy, Jack. He kept, he kept it. it. He's so weird scrapbooker, this guy. Yeah, he's a kind I'd rather of... See everyone's kind of strange. Uh, I have changed your will according to the directions you gave me in our meeting. In the event of your death, Dexter will have no recourse to inherit Wickford Castle or any, any of your estate or financial holdings. Further, he will be unable to claim any association with or capitalize upon your name or reputation. I am currently proceeding with your request to annul your adoptive relationship to Dexter. Oh, harsh. Yeah, this is pretty harsh stuff. And to sever any subsidiary legal ties you may have to him. I will notify you when these procedures are finalized. On a personal note, allow me to say how sore I am to hear of Dexter's criminal conviction and to urge you not to blame yourself. I'm sure you did the best you could with Dexter, but some children just turn out to be bad eggs. Nonetheless, while your disappointment must be profound, I comment your prudence and pragmatism in the decisions you made to protect your estate. So yeah, Dexter turned into an asshole. Well, he just tried to pass a check. And him and his adoptive father just didn't get along at all. Not at all? You might want to go ask him about it. You won't, an you won't answer any of my questions. 
You can leave through the main doors. At least Terrific. I think so. We'll see. I'm out. No? Yeah. You can go talk to him. Don't you're already on the floor. You're already I on the floor. know, I didn't mean to go here. I can't get out. I must call it. <laughs> it it forces beckons you to, to me. call it. it. Forces you to call that element. Don't get in. Okay, don't get in. Go talk to Dexter about his past. Run! Sure you don't want chips? No? No thanks. If you give me the bag, I'll eat them all. So. I'll have one chip. I'll have a chip. Where's it? Oh. Right down there. Are we barbecue? Yeah. Excellent. It's actually pretty spicy for just regular Lay's barbecue chips. Did you see I fixed your radiator? Yeah, I did. You're so great and awesome, even though you did it while I was sleeping. <laughs> you weird, weird old man. So you can ask him questions about so, his past. did you grow up around here? You could say that. It's a pretty open-ended answer. <laughs> Did you know the original owner, Ezra Wickford, when he lived here? You could say that. <laughs> he Man. just hates his dad. This guy's so uh, open and well-spoken. He used to win spelling well? bees. They call it the past for a reason, okay? Because it's over. It's deep, man. <laughs> He's a poet. He's a poet. It's like, okay, see ya. Okay, fuck you. So, I'm gonna did take you know my leave now. Ezra Wickford had a place where he liked to go and think? Some place he thought of as a refuge? There was a private area of the garden. Yeah. The entrance was hidden, so no one could bother him there. Were you allowed to go out there? Once in a while he'd bring me out there. It's like, yeah, and teach no me one. about his favorite flowers. But that was like a, a hundred years ago. Dexter you can confirm to be 150 <laughs> yeah. years old. Yeah, then, no, no, that was <laughs> literally 100 years ago. Okay, see you, Mr. What? Again. You're a trooper. Am I? I talk to can you. I help you? Yeah. Damn it. Okay. It see doesn't you, matter. Again. She doesn't matter. You're a anyway. trooper. Jesus. Eating like eight chips at once. Uh, you can go talk to Lisa again, I guess. It's a, it's kind of a talk day. You can go talk to everybody. No, nope, I guess Lisa's not here. What time is it? It's five minutes old. Five o'clock? You can go check to see if Jacques's there. If he's not, just head back to your Is this the stairs? No, other way. Turn around. That all I got. Just keep going down there and you'll find him. You're in the corner. Oh, look at that. And just take him down. Nope. Step into them and then go down. This would suck to fall down. It's all stone. I would imagine it would be pretty terrible. Yeah. When you eat chips, you eat chips. Mm -hmm. I have a feeling he isn't there, but we'll go check. Ow. Huh? I said ow. Why? Foot cramp. Yeah. I don't think he's it's my second oh, one of the day. He appears. We're putting in overtime, are we? I guess so. I'll talk to you later. I live bye bye. What? Ooh, what? That's not a thing. That's not even a that's French thing. That's not a French thing. No. That's that's just him being an idiot. Alright, so you can go up to your room, use the elevator. That's not where the elevator is, but okay. Bye bye. Mm hmm. Use those stairs. Yeah. Just head back to your room and call your friends again, I guess. This is they don't know anything. Every talking episode. Keep going forward. This keep, no, keep going forward. This is an everything episode because we have to do this in like one shot. Keep going forward. I can't change directions. Go forward. I can't Turn change around. the past. Yeah. Did my doorknob change sides? No. I think it did. Pretty sure it did. Sounds windy and cold out there. Is that a thunderstorm or is that my, That's just my wind. furnace? That's just wind being a bitch out there. Jesus. Oh, what? What's that? Yeah, I know. That would be like, what does that have to do with the castle? At all. 
Not a whole hell of a lot. This was the 18th century Gordon Ramsay. Do you have Ned Nickerson's home? Good old Ned Nickerman, as you like to call him. I, um, I need to phone the operator. Do you? I, I do. don't think you'll answer. Did you kill Birdo? Oh, I think he might be there. Hello? Did you figure no, out how to do me. it? Well, you're a sound for sore ears. Bess called me and told me your vacation is rapidly turning into what? another mystery. So who do you think the vandal is? Coffee? I really don't know. It would well, help if what? I could at least imagine a motive. But why would huh? anyone want why? to why? We do it all the time. a beautiful old library? Oh, okay. There must uh, be more to it than meets the eye. <laughs> oh, it's sounds like you better okay. find a way to get in there and take a look around. Screw we you, already man. did. Yeah. You son of a bitch. You're behind on the time, is my man. Are you ready for a crazy <laughs> Bye, coincidence? Ned. Put on your thinking cap. I need a hint. Hold on. Thinking cap on. <laughs> Stand See, he just acts hint. like he's just a fool the entire Let's time. Let's see. He's Enter great. through the main door of the library. First, you need. I'm just gonna cut you off right there. Desk. As for the alarm code, Dexter's fingerprint should still be on the keypad. I don't know much about fingerprinting techniques, but maybe there's some. This is what happens when people magazines. in real life don't know what's going on. Coincidence? No. Only if it's a crazy one. Ezra Wickford also imported the library. And it seems that he imported he the, the library. Of Jean Leboeuf, the, the whole revolutionary thing. revolutionary commander who captured Marie Antoinette when she was trying to escape from France. You're kidding. So Wickford imported Marie's tower and her enemy's library? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Doesn't Leboeuf mean the Are they feuding at all? Actually, yeah, the library I think hates it just the tower. Means <laughs> the beef. <laughs> hmm. The beef. Well, in any case, I bet the guy would be happy to know that his library ended up in the heart of America's dairy land. Is Wisconsin America's dairy land? Probably. All right, bye, Ned. You've already, he's already told you what you But he, bye, his Ned. thinking bye. caps on. I got to get all the information out of him. Well, I'm just going to phone one more friend. No. <laughs> just wait. No. It'll take five seconds. No, it doesn't. It takes like 10 minutes. No, it'll it's take. Old <laughs> there is a Girl lot of talk. babbling in this game. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking cap on. They hung up on me, the Hello. bastards. Hi, it's me. How's it going, Nancy? Are things calming down yeah, around the castle? Women. Not unless you find women. it calm. Women, women folk. Even elevator. women hate women on this game. <laughs> what do you mean, stuck? The elevator broke down? Well, no, I jammed I my foot in it, and it, it it's now Dexter, ripped off my body. That's what I meant. Stuck. In the <laughs> but Nancy, I'm still there. The this is this is me phoning you for help. Maybe someone turned it off, but why? So That's someone turned I'm off the wondering. elevator on you. I can think of several reasons why. Because they're a dick. Anyway? <laughs> I climbed yeah. through a hatch okay, in the roof of the this. cab and just barely made Ooh. it up to the next floor. So There's a nice four paragraphs of the elevator here. in the open shaft, way up high. <laughs> I'll show you. Oh, it's just the <laughs> thought of it makes my stomach turn. <laughs> <I can't. laughs> Anything interesting I in the elevator shaft? I'm Just pre a metal ladder leading up to this ventilation duct or something. My God, Nothing it's like somebody narrating Except everything I've done so far. Looks this like game. it was about to fall off. Hmm. Maybe someone needed to inspect the duct and forgot to replace the grate. Or maybe the duct leads Tell somewhere, to like to buried gold. They're or supposed to be this. like late that teens, was early twenties. Like. They never age. Not San Francisco. Oh my god, well, <laughs> three like that. It gets better. It gets better. The early games, they sound the terrible. The inventor of chocolate milk was a poet, too. Yum. I could write a poem or two about chocolate milk. It says that he could <laughs> <laughs> That's a good John read. <laughs> Just as we're talking about how she sounds like Something a three year old. Something about his old chocolate thinking milk. spot somewhere out in the garden. Oh, god. Funny, but I didn't Dialogue. see the garden when I came in. Well, you can't exactly tiptoe through the tulips when they're buried under six feet of snow. Good point. Never mind my <laughs> cheeky cousin over there. You make a persuasive argument. When the storm passes, you should go out and see what you can find. My cheeky cousin. Oh, Help, I'm a little I'm drunk. I'm a little stuck. <laughs> stuck? A sassy detective like you, Nancy? It's an alarming thought, isn't it, Bess? So, yeah. So thanks for that. They did tell you something. They said okay, set your alarm too. for I'll night. I'll talk to you soon. Why? Watch out You'll for see. weird people! <laughs> Whoa, easy there, twins from The Shining. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Perfect. Okay, you can cut it here. You can save it. Set it for, like, 
Nah, 10 p.m.